Today's design is dipping into sort of some abstract art and it's all about finding a style that helps you relax. Even though we're only into the first week of May, this month is going to be very busy for me. So I was looking for a way to relax and decompress. And so this design is something I've seen done on paper. And I was like, let's try it on a rock. It's another idea to try on a rock. So what I'm doing here, I gave a little base coat of gesso because these rocks can be a little porous. And now I'm taking a Posca PC1MR and making kind of squiggly lines, crisscrossing, no particular design or style. I just want it to cover kind of that surface oval of the rock. I'm also not worried that the black lines are perfect at this point because I'm going to come back and re-outline them later in the design. So now that I've got this main design kind of on here, I'm going to use my Thule Art Blues and Purples set. And now I'm going to look at each of those shapes that were created by the crisscrosses and fill them in with different blues and purples. And what this is going to do is create this really pretty patchwork of the blues and purples. And I love this set because Thule Art did such a good job with the different shades of blues and purples. It's just so pretty. They're all so pretty. And so I like any chance I can get to use as many of them as I possibly can. So I'm just randomly selecting the shapes and filling them in with the various colors until we have this beautiful little patchwork. And I think I've mentioned many times before that rocks are my reset button. If I have a rough week or a good day, whatever it is, but especially if I'm having a challenging day or week or hour, if I can sneak in some time to create on the rocks, it just resets me and it amazes me how powerful that is. But another thing that has come up in the last year is um, our littlest Sammy has learned at school about mindful coloring and they use it as a tool to um, give the kids kind of a distraction and a tool to calm down when they need it. So we've done that a lot of nights before bed and this was reminding me of that because it's kind of like, you can get lost in the coloring because the guide is now there, all of the shapes are there, and I just have to fill them in. And then the next part of the design is also going to be another continuation of the relaxation. And I so hope that you can find this same kind of recharge, reset, or joy out of painting rocks. And you know, you might have a specific type of design that you just really like that is your go-to for it. It doesn't have to be this. This might be stressful for you or it's relaxing for me and you like doing little cartoons instead. Just be aware of the things that make you happy or help you reset and calm down or bring you joy or relax you because gosh, what a gift that is once we figure it out. It's pretty awesome. So now I'm coming back through with the Posca PC1MR and I'm redoing all of the kind of crisscross lines so that there's a nice definition in between all of our patchwork colors. happen to notice there's a naturally occurring heart in the patchwork design that was not planned kind of cool though now the next step in this abstract art design that I saw is to take all of the little corners anywhere that you have a corner and round them off so you can see I'm looking for anywhere that the crisscrosses occurred and I'm rounding off those little corners so that they're round and this just creates a different kind of depth and look to the to the art, the one I saw on paper, it was very simple. I think it was just black and white, but just this act of rounding off those crisscross corners just gave it a new sort of depth that I thought was really cool. So that is my next step and that's what I'm doing right now. And the ironic thing that I noticed as I was doing this is the act of curving off those corners actually makes the little patchwork colors look like stones. <laughs> they look like they're stones sitting on something with these shadows behind them. It just was kind of funny to me that that's, that was what I was seeing in it as it came to life. 
Now I'm going to take my uni pin fine liner, the 0.5 size, and I'm going to do some Zentangle designs. And you guys have seen me do this on other designs. I haven't done it in a while in a, a weekly video. So I thought, you know, this is the perfect rock to add more because I actually debated about just leaving it alone with just the pretty colors. And I was like, no, there's some really good space here to do some fun designs. So Zentangling is something that I find very relaxing also. I think it has to do, just like I like mandalas, I think it has to do with the repetitiveness of figuring out what the pattern will be in each you know, spot and then the repetitiveness of that and watching it come to life in front of you. So I just was picking several different designs. I repeated a lot of them in different colored spots, but I wanted to add more detail and depth and something that would catch someone's eye if they see this at the park or in a tree knot. I love hiding rocks. There's a tree knot in the park near my job where I walk at lunchtime and it's perfectly at eye level and it can hold pretty good sized rocks. So I like hiding them in that tree knot. I have some favorite patterns that I do when I do Zentangle rocks, but I do get hung up sometimes too. But one easy way to find ideas is to just Google or go on Pinterest and search for Zentangle designs and you will get tons of ideas. Some of them are very intricate, but I think you can, you can get such a wide variety from very easy to very intricate. And you can kind of pick what you feel comfortable with and go to town with it. And I could have picked the same pattern and put it in every single one of these colors and it still would have looked cool. That's the neat thing about it. It could be the same, it can be different, it could be alternating. You can kind of do anything with this. This week has been a doozy and so I hope if you have also had a little bit of a wild ride this week that you can sit down and find your calm whether it's with a design like this one or a cartoon or words whatever makes you feel best I hope that you can find that this weekend sneak some quiet time away for yourself and enjoy your creativity. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Keep spreading that kindness, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.